Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to kind of show you guys how you can tell if you have a plenum spacer um, on your car uh, on a D35. I'm going to go ahead and pop the hood, and uh, I'm guessing if you're watching this, you know what a plenum spacer is, so I don't need to explain that. Uh, but pretty much what you got to do is, and we'll fail at that. Uh, pretty much, if you don't have the cover on it, then you're good. Otherwise, if you have the engine cover, take that off. And then all you need to do is look between these two pieces of metal um, right there. And if you see a kind of like a white, a thick little white spacer, because that's what it is. And also, I've heard um, that when you buy one, it comes with black screws or black bolts here. So that might be another way to tell. But it's, it's simple as that. You literally just look right here, and if there's you know, white or gray uh, little spacer thing right there, then you have one. It's, it's pretty simple. Uh, a lot of people don't really know where to look for it or whatever, so. And just kind of goes all around there. So you'll be able to see it pretty much from everywhere. I don't have one. As I can see, I actually didn't even know that before. Uh, but it does add horsepower, and depending on what size you get, it'll add horsepower or uh, torque in the lower RPMs or higher RPMs. Because uh, you can get like 5 sixteenths or half-inch spacers. So that's kind of, you know how big they are. In the future, you might see a video of me installing one because I'm planning on buying one somewhere pretty soon because they're pretty cheap and they add a lot of power for the price. So you know what? It's, it's a good upgrade to get. There you guys, a little tutorial on how to uh, find the plenum spacer or see if you have one on your G35. This is a 2004 G35 coupe. I don't know if you want to know that, but anyways, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.